Hi to all. My name is Stefano, and I try to explain us uh, how to mod uh, your uh, device. This title, so Robotito Verde Choctado, is made because uh, when I wrote the, uh, the proposal for this uh, presentation, I, I, uh, I was in Peru. Then uh, I, will, uh, I, uh, I take a, a dish of the of Peru, Peruvian cuisine that is uh, like Cui uh, Chatao, uh, that is uh, a um, Peruvian Guinea pig uh, that is cuisined uh, like uh, all open uh, in, uh, in front of your, in, in your dish. And so this is a good uh, uh, explanation of what I want to uh, say to us uh, to uh, explain how Android can be uh, all uh, uh, checked out, so uh, uh, can be open uh, with uh, using uh, all tools that are present uh, in uh, operating system like uh, uh, open source one like uh, Linux uh, and also Android that is based on Linux. I am a Linux developer. I uh, work uh, in a uh, distribution uh, made in Venturin that is called Open Mamba. And uh, I work in uh, open embedded uh, uh, devices uh, when, uh, well, in, um, there is a lot of use of operating system uh, of open and also of Android. Uh, this is a, a pretty easy presentation of uh, what is uh, Android uh, for me uh, and a description uh, very easy to explain how to uh, discover how uh, Android is uh, it's using uh, what uh, it's uh, for uh, um, a developer that has come from uh, a Linux or Unix uh, universe. Uh, Android is it's like a Linux distro in many aspects, but it's more uh, mobile centric. This is because uh, the, the main core is a Linux kernel, but it's very patched. The patches that are inside the Linux kernel are not accepted right now from Linux towers and also for other developers of Linux kernel. This is because there are a lot of changes that are made because in a mobile specific device there are some features, a lot of this regard to the power management or are the things that are not using uh, uh, with uh, security. So when uh, uh, you try to uh, uh, use the hardware of your device in a very simple way, you have to have a trade-off with your uh, security console. So uh, also a normal user can access to all specific design of the hardware, also the GPIO. So the other aspect that are introduced in the uh, in Android world that uh, it's uh, uh, taken from the Linux world is uh, the libc, but the default in the Linux world is was the new libc that is made by the New Source Foundation, and uh, the Bionic one is a very simple way to uh, compact the all the library from for C to use in a specific uh, uh, device and so very complex, very, uh, with, without a lot of uh, uh, functionality that are not used by mobile devices. Also the Java virtual machine as written by Google uh, people, Google people of the team of the Android, because the uh, Oracle one are very easy to uh, to use in a, in a mobile device, and so they have to uh, recreate also how the Java virtual machine created by code, uh, creating a mixture of uh, assembler and uh, uh, runtime uh, classes. And also on this top, there is the creation app framework that is very useful for app creation. This is the architecture of all this kind of uh, part of the art in Android. So we have uh, at the bottom the Linux kernel with all the, the, uh, the specification of uh, which Android add to Linux kernel. So we have uh, the binder that is uh, inter-process control 
that is not used in other Linux uh, version. Uh, there are the power management that I, I, what I say before, that is completely different from the Linux one. And other things that are used to uh, access to the hardware directly from the user space. And so we have the libraries with the Bionic C, the all implementation they are taken for open source world, like SSL, uh, OpenGL, WebKit from uh, Apple that are used also for Chrome, uh, SQLite, and uh, the Android runtime with the core libraries and also the Dalvik. And on the top of this, there are the app framework, there are all the types of libraries that you use uh, when you write an app in Android. And so this is the uh, usage of version of the Android, like now, at the February of, of, of this year. And we discovered that the new version of the, uh, the, um, the Android, the, the, the first version, is the one that uh, is becoming the first user of the world. And so there are uh, a lot of uh, features that introduces in uh, Android 4 that uh, uh, we are discovered that uh, are uh, useful also for the phone and also for the tablet. This is not uh, uh, in uh, the past with the ginger brain and only cam, when we are, we are at two different uh, form of Android, one for the phone and one for the tablet. And this is unification also for product of, manuf uh, of manufacture of the hardware are very improved because uh, right now we have uh, a lot of devices that are uh, uh, becoming the market with Android and not with other operating system. Why this? Because uh, we are implementation of this uh, operating system that are very easy to, uh, to import uh, in every new hardware format. And so the de development of a driver or specific driver are very easy because the CPU are all supported by Linux and so we have only to develop a driver to use uh, all specific driver version by uh, manufacturer. And so this is uh, a, a, a strict presentation to uh, enter in the Android world in a systemistic way, in a, um, Linux uh, version way. And uh, this is a list of some p patches that are inside of the Linux kernel of Android. This is uh, the main difference from the normal Linux kernel and the Android kernel one. We have a uh, low memory killer, they are also called, uh, called the Viking killer because uh, uh, like a Viking, uh, it kills process uh, random. Uh, when the, there are low memory case, uh, the Android system try to kill every application uh, it can uh, reach. And so uh, this, uh, this low memory killer is very dangerous for all uh, specific uh, Linux distro. So this is not implemented in the Linux kernel, the main, main lane. And, uh, but for mobile uh, application, it's very good because uh, the low memory is a good problem, a, a very problem. And so we, uh, the, the Android team tried to investigate how to solve this and uh, start to program uh, this Viking killer. Also, we have the wake lock, uh, that is a, a, a lock for the, for the power that uh, we can uh, use to power on the, uh, the device uh, each, uh, each time we want. So the application can access uh, to the state uh, of the power of the device. This is not possible in, uh, in Linux because of uh, the security permission. Also, also the early suspend, that is the, the in uh, vice versa, is the when uh, you, an app requests to uh, go in suspend mode of the device. And also we have the timer GPIO, that is the access directly to the uh, hardware uh, made by an application. So we have uh, an user space driver. This is uh, too connected to the, the hardware. And uh, with this type of uh, 
um, bridge uh, in the kernel, we can access directly to the hardware. Also, the, we have uh, a new uh, cache that is called Ashman. Uh, the, the return of the malloc uh, that uh, you can create a uh, allocation memory that is continuous. Uh, this is not possible in Linux because there are a memory allocator that uh, uh, create a different area on the memory and uh, when you call uh, this function uh, it try to reach uh, all uh, area in the, in the RAM. We have also the binder that is uh, interprocess communication that is used when uh, you have to uh, communicate from an app to another one. And also we have a RAM console that is used uh, for uh, kernel developing with the last cam kappa message that is the old messages of the kernel of the previous boot. So we have uh, to boot a device and then switch off when we reboot, we can check uh, the uh, last message of the previous boot. So when uh, the kernel is uh, um, going segmentation fault or something like this, we can check uh, what is the problem. And also we have the ADB, the Android Debug Bridge, that is used to program the device. There are a lot of patches that are introduced in Android. All these are in driver staging Android uh, folder that are in the Linux, in the Linux kernel source code. Uh, this is because uh, the driver staging so is a folder of the Linux driver, Linux uh, kernel source, where uh, all uh, the drivers that are not accepted by the Linux uh, developer are put. So in this uh, in this folder. Uh, there is no op for uh, drivers to enter the main line, but they are tracked by this folder. We have also the Bionic libc that is embedded uh, optimized. It's not fully POSIX, so we have a lot of problems where we have to port uh, an application existed uh, in, uh, in Linux or Mac that are fully POSIX in Android. And also, there is not compatibility with uh, new libc. Also, this is a good, uh, very good problem. And uh, uh, all the narrative programs uh, that are made uh, in Android are linked to these libraries. Uh, in some, um, these days, uh, there are uh, the, uh, the start of commercialization of Firefox OS. Firefox OS is based on Android, and all applications are natives. So we have not the SDK but NDK. So all uh, the programs uh, are linked to this library, the Binaric LibC. And so when you want to program for, with Firefox OX, you have to uh, ut uh, utilize the NB and SDK. Um, this is because uh, there are a lot of devices that are uh, uh, made by manufacturers that are compatible with Android. And so with, when Firefox, Firefox wants to commercialize a new, new operating system, have to have a base on which to create uh, its application as a web app on top. And Android for the lower uh, layers are very good. And also we have the Dalvik, the Java Virtual Machine, that create a DEX Dalvik executable files that uh, are register based. So there is not a, a very true bytecode like a, a Java bytecode, but uh, it's more similar to a native one. And also this uh, uh, type of uh, architecture is, is uh, uh, very good for uh, the memory because uh, uh, instead of the Oracle one, the, the Davic virtual machine is very uh, less uh, use less memory, and so it's very powerful for uh, uh, long, long battery life. And so we have the Android application, the all of us uh, know that the installation uh, is possible in uh, a lot of way. Uh, Google Play Storage, Storage, uh, USB uh, drives, SD, and also the ADB. 
And we have this, uh, now we try to discover how the file system works inside your device. Because when you want to mod your device, you have to um, know where a, a file in your device is. And uh, the file system is uh, a little different than the LFS, this is the Linux file system. Uh, there are some uh, implementations that are different. The main system is uh, inside the folder that called system, and uh, the data application data, and also we have the cache that is the apps cache. So when uh, an app creates a cache uh, of uh, its data that are downloaded for inter of other things uh, like this, they are created inside the cache folder. Also we have the empty, that is where uh, we have the SD card or a flash inside the device uh, is mounted in this uh, directory, empty. So we have in the slash system the folder, uh, all the default folder in the Linux uh, world. So we have the bin for the execution, the ATC for the configuration file, the lib for libraries, USR for user application, all, all nav native, all these applications are native and these uh, are ported for Linux world. In system we have also the framework, the app framework we have discovered before. The app, the, uh, the system app, when you want to create a system app for your device you have to sign with the manufacturers of the, the, the creation of uh, your ROM. And all of, only with this uh, senior the, you have uh, to, the access of these uh, system apps. And also we have the media folder, where uh, they are put, for example, the boot animation that is the uh, graphical uh, animation when you start up your device. Also in the system there is a build prop, there is a, a very long file with all description of uh, who, um, in which way your ROM that is uh, in your device uh, are made. So we have the, all the configuration. In a lot of the device uh, this uh, configuration is not uh, present or uh, there are lacks of uh, config uh, value. But uh, when you create a new ROM uh, you have to do uh, to write this file to have uh, the compatibility with your device. Uh, then we have the font folder with the robot that is a font that uh, created by Google and uh, inserted in the Android uh, Mario that for the XBin that are uh, optional utilities for your for a real Android device. Uh, it's uh, all uh, native uh, programs also this. Uh, but uh, are not useful for the system. Uh, useful for the Dalvik uh, or for the application framework. And then we have the vendor that in some devices is not used, but uh, depends on the manufacturer and uh, the brand of your phone or, the, or tablet. In the vendor there is the application that are distributed with this device. And also in the file system we have a new folder that is data. Um, and in this, uh, in this folder we have the user apps, so the app you have installed uh, after you buy your device and then uh, the data, where there are the user data, so the data, the settings file of uh, the application we have installed or also from the system application, they are already present in your device and also the devil cache uh, which is the, the, where the, the system, the Dalvik, uh, created the DEX files, they are the compilated class files. Um, so the, in, the, in, the system, in, data, in data data, there is uh, a recursive uh, folder, uh, there is a file that is uh, very important, that is com.android.providers.settings, very long uh, for, uh, file name, but uh, it's very useful because in this file there are present of settings that uh, you are uh, uh, written when you check uh, the when you change the, the setting in your phone or your device. When you go to uh, settings and you change all settings, all data are written in this file. And this is for the user. So when you have to uh, wipe out all data, this is 
re erased and use uh, the default one. But this is your personalization. So when you want to personalize, uh, to customize a device, uh, you have to uh, customize these files because this is uh, the setting of your phone. Uh, for example, this is an example of how to personalize this file. It's like a SQL file and uh, in this file we have uh, a lot uh, of uh, uh, record where the, the file, the, all the settings you have uh, uh, changed are uh, saved. This is only a SQL uh, uh, update file that changes some value in this settings file. For example, uh, this is uh, the set of the language, so we have changed it to Italian. So uh, when changing this file, it's possible to change all, f all setting your device automatically. When I buy a new, f a new hardware, a new device, uh, a new tablet, uh, I, can I can customize uh, like I want uh, when I touch the, the device to my computer. Uh, I can run uh, each uh, script I want to personalize uh, the device. Uh, and uh, we can create a lot of the device uh, with uh, the same configuration in a very fast way. Uh, so this is also the when the screen off, uh, when the screen go off, uh, and so there is a timeout that is expressed in uh, millisecond. And uh, this is a, a value that uh, say that when. Uh, um, when the device is plugged to the, the power supply is plugged, the device has to be uh, running uh, without uh, going in the standby mode. And this setting uh, is uh, discovered when uh, you try to read uh, all the specification in the source code of the Android. There are a lot of things that are not expressed, uh, documented uh, in the Android documentation uh, available in the developer Android site. But uh, the source code of Android is open, so we can check uh, all value and uh, all this, this, the meaning of this value. Uh, this is the settings of the volume uh, of the, your device. Uh, 15 is the higher one for this device. Uh, this is the setting that uh, changed the, the time in 24 mode. And all this uh, only to uh, avoid that uh, there is uh, a lock screen in your device. There are some uh, settings in this file that are not very uh, useful uh, for uh, changing, but uh, it's useful when you program. Um, all these settings only to disable the, the lock screen of your device, but you have to set all these values because without settings only one of these, the lock screen is not disabled. All this you have to discover when uh, you try to uh, use uh, um, Android in a system way, so we uh, in, in fact, of, of using the uh, all facility that are uh, provided by Google, but by the app framework, uh, you can use also the uh, inside the one with uh, the Linux provider of uh, the system of Android. And so the tool that uh, you can use, uh, very useful to uh, hack your device, is the ADB. That is a bridge. This is. Uh, inside the kernel of Android, so it's very, uh, it's very in low uh, level of your system and uh, in which bridge uh, you can connect directly to your device and you can control all your device. And in this, uh, in this, with this command, the ADB uh, that you can install uh, with uh, simple installation in uh, Linux. There is uh, the Android tools uh, package in every distribution, also available for Mac or for Windows from the website of Android. Well, we have a lot of common in ADB. 
the most common, uh, most useful command is ADB shell. We create a shell on your device. And uh, depends on if your device is rooted or, or not, uh, you have the permission of this user. But uh, this is not a very, uh, it's not a true uh, Linux shell because uh, you have a limited standard command. So uh, there is uh, um, an implementation of all based, uh, all base command of uh, Linux, uh, but uh, without a lot of option. But uh, there are some commands that are not present in other version of Linux uh, that is like get props at prop that are useful to check the properties of a file, like build prop or uh, other file that are properties in your, in your Android device. Also, if config is not uh, the command to check the Ethernet of the uh, all, all the network interface of your device. To check the, the network interface, you have to use a net CFG. That is a, a command introduced by Google. Uh, an input uh, is to control all input to your device, so you can control with uh, a script uh, the the all the, 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 the input that are your, your device, so we can uh, capture the input, so we can uh, uh, capture all touch in your device and then replicate. Uh, this is very useful when you want to create a macro. And also we have the IAM, that is Android Manager. Uh, with this command you can uh, open, close, uh, change uh, all applications that are in your device. And when you try to uh, uh, root your device, you can install also BusyBox that is, uh, uh, this is ported to Android. It is a, a, a knife of, uh, uh, a Swift knife of all your command, like in, uh, in Linux way, with uh, uh, a lot of options. So we have a complete uh, uh, set of commands that are useful to, to hack your device. And uh, this is the second database we have discovered before, that is a SQL Large Tree version. And this is a simple script to change the boot, boot animation of your device that is uh, made in Bash in Linux. And uh, this is only a a system uh, file with, with uh, the specification of frame per second, the step, and uh, the, the maximums of the picture uh, or the frame we generated uh, in this script. So we have to create uh, two, two folders with uh, called part zero and part one in a boot animation folder, a description file, desk file with uh, the uh, specification of the size of your uh, um, input uh, image. This is only the width and A of your image that is passed as like uh, an argument for, for the script and the frame per second that is 10. And this is the, uh, the sequence of, the, of this boost screen that uh, is cycled to uh, for for this uh, part for uh, to the end of the sequence of the the ten, the, the hundred of frames, and this is the generation animation frame that is only used to create uh, a, a starting from an image to create uh, a brightness. Uh, or modulation from the black to the white. So we have uh, an animation that go from the, the black screen to the two, two image that is uh, your uh, uh, image that are passed to the script. And then we have to create a boot animation zip file with our compression, uh, with all file and folder we are, dis we are created and then we have to push uh, in uh, this, the, specific, the specified uh, folder that is system media by default, but uh, sometimes uh, it's overwritten by other folder like uh, vendor media uh, that uh, may be the default in your device. 
And uh, also we have to uh, use the Android NDK to create a native uh, programs for uh, your device. This is uh, uh, an example how to create an uh, environment, a uh, developing environment for your, de for your device uh, using the NDK. So this is a script that uh, only created the toolchain from this version of the Android in your home and then uh, change the path to have the compiler. This is a simple compiler uh, based on GCC that uh, compile all uh, your file for ARM, but uh, with uh, the Android Ruby, that is the uh, compatibility of all Android devices. So with this, uh, you can compile uh, all files in C that are not using uh, the glibc, but only the Bionic one. There are uh, a lot of uh, links that are useful to uh, start to program and develop your custom ROM. Uh, also, there are the official Android developing uh, tool, but there are a cool forum that is uh, XDA developers and uh, this is the, the link uh, when you can uh, download the, the SDK and the NDK. And uh, to the end, okay. We can uh, discover how to uh, how to you can uh, use uh, all these things to create uh, uh, a device like you want. So um, this is a simple script to to check a device and try to exploit. Uh, in, uh, in Android there are a lot of exploit, but uh, the, the one that is useful to work is PVM that is uh, used for a device that are uh, higher than 4.1 and uh, PS Neuter, there are another uh, exploit that is work. This is the more useful Explore to check if your device can be used uh, in root mode, but also there are devices with uh, you can try to only uh, check to uh, to go in uh, in root with uh, settings uh, adb root. That is a simple command to go in routing mode. So there is possibility to install the BusyBox like we want in uh, System Bean. Uh, that is the default directory we have discovered before, where the uh, the binary of your Linux uh, file system, and also the super user app that is uh, an app that are uh, open uh, distributable in the in the in the internet, uh, with, uh, in which one you can. Uh, go in root mode uh, all your type of application if they ask to go in root mode. And so we can configure because uh, we have discovered that all, all, uh, all apps in your device uh, are, uh, have settings uh, in uh, XML file or uh, in SQL file so we can uh, also configure an app uh, with a script only using uh, using a uh, XML file you have uh, already made, and also we can uh, modify the properties uh, of uh, your phone, also for force the phone version for a tablet uh, to use uh, an idle resolution of your tablet, or change or, co or, copy, uh, or change the build prop with the different DPI. And also change the setting database, setting database that are in uh, SQLite, so we can uh, use the SQLite tree command to change all types uh, of value in, uh, in this file. 
because in this file there are also the identification of your device uh, it's uh, very useful to maintain the same one because when you register your device with Android account or with a Google account uh, you provide uh, the identifier of the, your device so when you change the Android setting file you have to maintain this uh, identifier um, instead of this when you try to access to Play Store uh, it says that you have changed the, the identification of your device and so there are a lot of things like uh, the the sync the forcing of sync on your flash the power off the waiting of your device to boot up you can check uh, the the first version uh, or the first uh, application that uh, uh, you have when you boot your device and check if uh, the system is go up to to hack or to change something And all this, uh, I have already a file. With um, You can also uh, start an application with IM command. This is uh, to to open the settings uh, uh, application of a device. You can turn off with Wi-Fi. Uh, also, this is uh, made by IM command, um, and this uh, is uh, a macro uh, that is send the, a specific uh, uh, touch. In uh, your device uh, to uh, to uh, try to um, uh, use uh, all the the touch event in your device to replicate your action, and also with get proper you can uh, to can get the model and the SDK version that is very useful when you want to replicate the development. Uh, the environment of uh, which one is creating your uh, ROM. This is uh, the presentation of what we want to create with uh, this uh, type of uh, things. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this, uh, this talk. If uh, someone has uh, some, uh, some uh, questions some, uh, about this uh, or about uh, his problem in such a way, I open to, to answer. Some question? Someone have uh, tried to customize uh, his device. Someone have tried to dis customize his device. With uh, someone have uh, tried to create a ROM for your device. <laughs> based on another ROM or based on, uh, on the same ROM of your device. So it's uh, replicated of uh, one that is already. Uh, uh, based uh, on uh, uh, open or uh, made for the manufacturer. Channel model. Uh, someone has uh, tried to uh, uh, to publish uh, its modification on the internet. No one. <laughs> this is the, the 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 cool of Android is that uh, you have a lot of uh, the of forks like in Linux world. Uh, this is cool because there are a lot of experimentation. 
So there is no question anymore? Thank you. Yes, I try to. The, the question is I try to compile the source code from Joy. Yes, I try to compile it. And uh, I have changed also the, the Android the Linux version of the kernel. And um, the, this is the, the, um, the power of Android is that when you flash your device, uh, you have to check uh, the last cap message that is very useful. When your uh, device crashed, you have not uh, any um, any improve to to check how to uh, this is uh, uh, is when uh, when it's crash I, you you can know where where it happened and so it's very useful for this but uh, there is not a lot of documentation how to ch change uh, the settings uh, also in the Android kernel and not a lot of uh, Android kernel in the device are open. So you can change uh, the system or your device uh, if you have uh, a root devices. But uh, to change uh, the Linux kernel, you have the source code because there are a lot of drivers that are not open. Uh, I manage in a device with a fully open source Linux kernel. There are uh, some, uh, some devices that are op op totally open source. There are other questions? Uh, there are devices made by uh, manufacturers in, chi in China where they are experimenting uh, a new type of hardware and they, uh, they try to sell uh, a board for development based on Android. And uh, in these devices, the, the source code is completely open because they have to uh, try to sell a, a complete product and not only a development board. Can you make uh, an example, a name? Sorry. Uh, can you say a name uh, of one of these devices just to S take a look? Uh, yes, the, there is uh, some uh, company like Toradex, uh, uh, like uh, uh, Einol. Uh, something like this. And I know. Another question? Thanks to all and uh, see you later. <laughs>